for the Secret Assassin and today I'll be doing a comparison slash review of the A65 against the Canon 60D. Um, 65, 25, almost 25 megapixel, 18 megapixel. That doesn't really matter unless you're blowing it up really big or if you work for a company that makes like the billboards or something like that. Anyway, um, uh, there, this camera is really good except there are some really bad things about it that might just make you want to get the Canon or a Nikon. First thing uh, is the, um, first of all, is the Sony lenses. Well, they are crappier than the Canon and the Nikon, you know. Canon is the best, I mean, in my opinion, Canon is the best, then Nikon, and then Sony. Unless you get the really expensive Carl Zeiss Sony lenses, then, you know, then it's comparison to Canon. But besides, for normal consumers, not professional cameras, uh, I mean, professional photographers, you know, I don't think you would really be wanted to waste like two thousand dollars on the lens. So. But anyway, um, thing is, Sony is good for autofocus and sixty frames per second in 1080p, so basically video quality. If you're not if you're doing 1080, it's 24p. Uh, this will compare definitely to with the uh, Canon 7D. Uh, so or maybe even 60D. Now the thing is, the video on the 60D, it's good and at the same time. It depends on uh, the lighting situation and uh, if you're outdoors, the video is going to look crisp, clear, like awesome HD. But if you're indoors, the light situation, the video is going to look like the thing you got from like a $300 HD, full HD camera. Same with the Sony, except indoor Sony and outdoor Sony is a little bit better than the 60D. I'm not saying it's better than the 70 I think the 70 it's the same. A 60D and um, for um, at 24p, you know. Uh, other thing is autofocus on the Sony is super super quick. Um, they're both noisy. Canon is a little bit more noisier because it takes a long time to autofocus and then just uh, lags like ch -ch -ch -ch, you know when it's uh, right before it's about to uh, fully autofocus. Sony it just and then you know it's done, but you know. It doesn't matter if it makes noise as long as it autofocuses quick. Since uh, this is a translucent mirror, uh, 10 frames per second. If you get the 70, it would be like 8 frames per second. Not a huge difference. You know, but uh, 24, uh, 25 megapixel, that zoom thingy. I mean, at 10 frames per second, so yeah. Not. Um, function wise, you are going to get a lot more from Sony. Like, um, by function wise, I mean. Uh, more filters, more different effects, uh, 3D panorama, panorama mode, uh, all that kind of stuff, you know. Same with the, except Canon, if you, I'm guessing if you buy the T3i, you're going to get more uh, things than the 60D, since 60D is more of a manual thing. Uh, my opinion, image quality for 60D is better in every single situation, but the image quality for Sony, it's good in uh, certain situations, especially in uh, more light, so not like this, but more natural, like like sunny outside. 60D, I mean, uh, the 65 would compare to the 60D easily. But low light situation, Sony, no way. Um, especially their noise. Uh, and s with the translucent mirror, since it loses some light, it even makes the noise worse. So you have to like get the shutter speed really, really low on that. And one of the really, really, really bad things that I hate about the Sony A65. Uh, not about the A67 because A67 does have this. It's this freaking screen. Um, freaking um, some problems with this is you mount it on a tripod. You know, you're trying to take a shot of yourself or the whole family picture. You go over there and you're trying to press the remote control. Well, normally here in the Canon you would do the screen like this and you could see your view from there. Here, you know, put it on a tripod. You see, and you just put it like this. And then if you put the screen below, and as you can see, the tripod would just block the whole view. So you can't really do self shot. Another bad thing is, if you have a tripod like this, this is what a normal tripod would be for, you know, video and camera or DSLR, both combined, you know. You can't really put the screen down. You can't fix this thing. And same with this thing. Um, this thing, you might be able to put it down, but I'm pretty sure this thing would interfere with that. And... As long as you can't put the screen down, you can't also flip it because here, when you flip the screen, as you can see, it has to be like this. 
and you can always put the screen like this, but then you're doing some uh, angle shots like this, and then you have to like look up, or especially if you're doing this, then you know um, the field of view for the screen isn't that good. So you know, it, that's the worst part. I think about this camera. That, that, that could be the thing that changes my decision over a 65 or a 60D or a T3. Now, 60D is meant more for um. Well, I would say semi-professional because of uh, this thing. Uh, I don't know what you call this thing, but I know this thing is um, basically like without looking at the screen, you know. Um.